Guess who's back? Yup, this guy. And in today's weekend review video, we're gonna take a look at a very simple trade using nothing more than the basic fundamental principles of reading a price chart and the Fibonacci tools. Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, Chief Currency Analyst at TradeEmpower.com and welcome back to another weekend review video. If you're new, I typically do these videos every week. They come out Thursday right around this time. However, last week I did take the time off. I had a wedding up in beautiful upstate New York right across from the Great Lakes. Uh, the wife and I had a wonderful time and, well, I'm very excited to be back with another video for you today. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to take a look at a very simple trade using the basics of price action, meaning the, the basic fundamental principles of how to read a price chart, new structure high, new structure low, higher high, higher close, support turns of resistance, resistance, you know, vice versa, all of that stuff. Um, and of course, we're going to throw in some Fibonacci tools in there as well to show you how I really... Uh, break down a potential reversal zone. But before we get into that, I need you to do me three things. I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and of course, share. And I'm serious, do that. I will not continue this video until you do. Thank you. All right, so we first took a look at this trading opportunity in my live trading room, and well, here's a clip of what we initially saw when we broke down the price chart. So we got the flag pattern breakout to the upside that we expected, right? We broke and closed above structure, and actually you can see, what? It, oh, this is great. What, it, what did we do at structure here, guys? You see how we respected it? How we came and then retraced? You guys see that? Give me a yes, come on, involve yourself. Make me feel like I'm doing a good job. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Structure leaves clues. It, what, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a full reversal. But again, I want you guys, I really want you guys understanding how important structure is. I think once you understand that, once you, once you build that confidence that, oh man, Akil, the structure stuff does work. Um, it does amazing things for your trading. Once you trust yourself, again, it's, it's, it's belief, action, results, the triangle of that. The more you believe in yourself, the more likely you are to take the right actions. The more likely you are to take the right actions, the more likely you are to get the right results. The more likely you are to get the right results, the more you believe in yourself. And it just goes in a continuous circle of success. Again, belief, action, results. Belief, action, results. It's amazing if you think about it. So what we want to do in this... Um, but let me ask you this, guys, this, what do we want to do in this situation? The flag pattern has done what we thought it would do. We want to now go through what? What is the first thing we do every time we see a price chart? What is the process we go through in trading? It starts with an I. I'll, I'll give you a clue. IPDE. There we go. Identify, predict, decide, execute. So identify what has the market done? What has the market done? Higher, high, higher close, right? That's our, our, our identified. The market has put in a higher, high, higher close. We have broken and closed above structure, right? A break and close above structure means that we should see what type of move? Trend continuation, right? If the market's going to continue trending, we're on the prediction part now. If the market's going to continue trending, then where are we likely to go to next? If you guys had a, a prediction of where the market is likely to go to next, where would you say? How are we likely to get there? There's two ways we can get there. Exactly. Well done, George. We can up oh, Orville too. Yep. We can either go straight up, right? We can just go from 121 flat straight up here, or we can retrace back the structure, right? and then go up, right? Previous resistance has turned to support. 
Okay, so as you can see, we came up with our initial idea for what we wanted to do with the trade during our live trading room session. However, these things often take time and that trading opportunity actually didn't happen during that New York session. However, every night after the New York close, I come back, I do another round of top-down analysis. Um, in preparation for the London session. And typically, if there's a lot of things on my radar, I will record a video for my syndicate members. So here's a recording or a piece of the recording um, that I did for my syndicate members later on that evening. If you're a trend continuation trader, well, you're probably looking for a retracement as we got right now and then a chance to ride it up in anticipation of that zone. So the question is, where are we gonna retrace to? And initially, I thought our retracement would come to this level. Previous, uh, again, previous structure resistance should turn to support. As you can see, we blew right through that. I don't know if some of that was because of the New Zealand um, decision that came out a few hours ago, um, but it doesn't matter. We've blown past that, that area. So the question is, where are we likely to go next? And well, if I had to make a guess, I would say a retest of this previous breakout. We had our flag pattern right here, our, our pennant, our wedge, whatever you want to call it. Essentially, they're all the same thing, guys. Um, but we had a break out of this area. I would expect a move back to it or a move right near it. Maybe the structure highs right here, 12018s. Boom. You can see structure right here, structure right here between 12018s and maybe that 120 even handle. Um, so as a trend continuation trader, I'm asking myself, how can I get involved in that area? And well, we're gonna have to wait and see what price action does. Um, it should be a good opportunity. Now, the question is, where is this market gonna retrace at in this zone? Um, that's the hard part. We can start by doing a Fibonacci inversion of our last move, so our swing high to swing low backwards. Seeing what we get in there, you can see I get a 127 right at 120.13. I get a 1618 inversion right at 119.84. I can also take my Fibonacci retracement tool from our swing low right here to our swing high. I don't know why it's giving me all these retracements, but let me just put in the ones I need. Uh, 3D2, I don't need that, I don't need that. There we go, 786. You can see I get some confluence. I get uh, 886 lining up right with that 1618. I get a 618 um, essentially lining up with that 127. Let's just take one more fib from, uh, let's take two more. One from this swing low to this swing high. Right in there. See if we get any confluence. Uh, not really. Let's take one from this swing low right here. Swing low to swing high. See if we get anything. 50% uh, or 50% in 382. Okay, so I would say your two levels um, to look to get short are going to be right here. Your first level that I would look for. And again, either, either way, you're still looking for confirmation, guys. I'm not saying, you know, buy it right here. Your first level is going to be right in this area. Um, this is where you have your first Fibonacci cluster. Your second Fibonacci uh, cluster is going to be right down here. So again, what we're doing, guys, is we're, we're just making predictions of where we think this reversal is going to come. But while we're in these zones, you're still looking for price action to tell you what you need. So from this point right here, 120.24 to down here at 119.64, this is your potential reversal zone. Um, that's the key number one. Key number two is stops need to go below this previous structure, so below that reversal zone. And targets, you can look for a retest of previous structure highs up here at the 121 even handle. So entry area, stops, targets. And of course, use your rules for stops. I use ATR, so that it's, it's just a, an estimation. Um, I'd have to measure the ATR and see where we're at once we get there. So, all right, guys, back. Just wanted to give you a little update on the dollar yen trade we talked about in last night's syndicate video. Apologize for my voice. It's, it's first thing Thursday morning, so I'm still waking up, haven't had my coffee yet. But you can see, um, let me get rid of this box here. You can see the dollar yen came right down into our potential reversal zone. Again, we measured out the top of our, our previous structure high and our previous outside return. Um, we came right to that level of Fibonacci confluence, put in two beautiful pin bars. And you remember last night entered right about, there we go, right about 120.27. And the rest is history. This thing went straight up. We took, took targets off at previous structure right at that psychological number 121 um, even. And uh, this is considered a pretty pain-free trade. Uh, 
uh, not just because it went straight up, but because it happened overnight. So, uh, of course, when you're sleeping, you don't have to worry about it. Well, maybe some of you do, but <laughs> you don't. Have to, at least you don't have to watch it. Um, so just want to update you on this trade. Good execution. Good example of uh, really a simple trend continuation trade. Um, and well, now it's time to delete the chart and reload and, and see what the next opportunity is. OK, so as you guys can see, that trade went very well. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple trade. Hopefully you were able to kind of get a, a grasp of the process that I use when breaking down a price chart. And um, with a lot of these trades, and this is why it's important to trade a strict portfolio and stay in touch with the pairs that you're trading. A lot of these trades, they don't happen right away. It takes doing analysis. It, it takes um, keeping notes and really coming back to it and just watching how uh, the moves progress and then being able to jump on it when it gets to that point. Again, we're, we're kind of like snipers in the market. I, I'm, I'm not running in to take every trading opportunity. I'm, I'm sitting back. I'm waiting for that perfect chance to get involved. And well, when we take the shot, we just, we just hope not to miss. And, and that's what we're doing here. Now, really important before I go on, if you are a trading troll, and you guys know who you are. If you're a trading troll, I want you to stop the video right now um, because what I'm about to say is probably going to offend you and make you very upset, at least um, by the comments that I received coming back this weekend for some reason. Man, social media was so angry with me for some reason. I don't know why. I think I'm a nice guy. But anyway, trading trolls, stop the tape right now. Okay, for those of you who are serious about trading, here's what I want you to do. Go over to our website, www.tradeempower.com. At the top of the screen, there's a tab that says learn to trade. I want you to click on that tab and I want you to scroll down and watch these two training videos, 100% free. The first is called Into the Gray. The second is called Turning Point. It's about a little under 20 hours of free training basically talking about the, um, how, to, how to read a price chart, how to market moves, essentially the same things that I used in the trade I just showed you um, to bring in some profit. And what I find is that a lot of traders, especially that are in that unconscious competence phase, you guys spend a lot of time roaming the internet, roaming YouTube, um, just looking for that that quick fix, looking for that that quick trading strategy that's gonna take you from zero to hero right away. And just in my experience with working with people over time and, and my own experience, I made this mistake myself. Um, the best thing you can do is learn the basics first, no matter what type of system you're going to trade, no matter what type of strategy you're going to trade. Learn the basics of how to read a price chart, how to use Fibonacci tools. Learn that first, and then you'll have a much better understanding of whatever strategy or technique you decide to trade down the road. So head over to the website. Check that out. If you've done that already, um, and you want to see this done live, there's, there's two options as well. You can spend a free week with me in the live trading room. It's 100% free. Just click join. Um, we have a great community there. Come ask questions, share ideas, all that fun stuff. Or if you don't have three hours a day to spend, if you don't have three open hours a day to spend in front of a chart and you don't want the boss getting mad at you, something like that, um, join our syndicate program. It's about, it's a, a dollar for the first month. So join it. You get to see every trade that Jason and I take. You get videos from me. You get a war room meeting every morning from Jason. And if you don't like it, just cancel after the first month or before the first month ends and all you lose is a dollar. I think it's well worth it. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for joining me once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got something beneficial out of it. If you did, leave me a comment. Again, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. <music>